Hello, this is Nathan Webb. This will be a tutorial on how to do a simple cartoony facial animation setup on a character using sliders and set driven key. The character mesh here is the Kim character I modeled. It's based off a Scott Pilgrim character. I call her Kim. Uh, the sliders here are going to control the facial animation. We can have the brows go up and down and we can rotate them in or out to make her happy or sad. We could take the eyes, the eyes are just clamshell type objects, rotate them down to make her blink. We could take the lower eyelids and make her squint as well. Also show you how to make a simple two-dimensional mouth on her. Usually character meshes for a face are all one object and they have blend shapes or bones which drive the face, but I like keeping things simple. So we're going to use a NURB circle for the mouth, make it planar, and then we'll have some blend shapes to open and close and make it wide and narrow. The sliders here are from the Jason Asipa book, Stop Staring. They're just a, a locator with a polygon which shows you the range and a NURB circle. One important thing about these is these NURB circles move up and down in the value of 0 and 1 and to make them larger we scale them up. We want our values here on the sliders to be from 0 to 1 and they have translation limits on them so they don't go outside the box. Same thing with this one. You can move it up and down left or right but it won't go outside that box. We can have this this slider control the eyelids of the character so I'm going to put a label on it. I'll go to create text and call it eyelids. Hit apply. Puts it down at the origin and I'm going to move it over to my slider. And I'll parent it. Let's change this to eyelids. And so we don't accidentally select the eyelid label here. We could put it on a layer and reference it, but another nice way is to go to the attribute editor. I hit control A, go under display, and hit the template button. That's the same thing as putting an object on a layer, but you can do it on an object by object basis. So now we have the eyelids label, or the eyelid slider labeled. So I'm going to use set driven key to get the eyelids to rotate. You could also use mail, but set driven key is a lot easier. Though I did hear that it's slower than using mail. To use set driven key, I'm going to make sure I'm in the animation menu set. Go to animate set driven key set. The, this controller here is going to be our driver. I'm going to label it eyelids control. hit load driver. It's going to be the Y translation. And then the things that are driven is going to be the upper eyelids. Select both of them, hit load driven. Select both in here and it's going to be the X rotation. When that slider is in its neutral position, the eyes will be neutral. I'll hit key. To make them blink, let's move the slider down and then take the eyes and rotate them forward until they close all the way hit key, and then move the slider up. You'll see the eyelids move with it. We want to have a wide-eyed expression, so I'm going to rotate the eyelids until they're almost all the way up. Hit key, and then now when you move the slider up and down, you'll see the eyes blink. You could also set up the lower lids on a separate slider so you can make her squint if you want or get really wide-eyed. I'm just going to leave that be for now. The next thing we'll do is have this box which can go up and down and left and right. We're going to have that control the brows. So this control object, I already put the label on that said says brow so we know what it's doing. We're going to use set driven key to have its Y translation control the translation of the brows. So brow control is going to move the brow right and left up and down. When it's in the neutral spot, we'll hit key. 
and then I'll move the slider up, pick the brows, move the brows up and hit key, and then move the brow controller down and move the brows down and hit key. You notice this is intuitive. You raise the slider up, it makes the brows go up. You move the slider down and it makes the eyelids go down. This controller can also be moved side to side. It's not doing anything right now, but we can make the eyes rotate inward to make her angry looking or rotate outward to make her happy or surprised by using the X translation. So we're gonna pick the brow control translate X and it is gonna control the Z rotation of the brow. So brow left and right, rotate Z. When it's in the central position, we'll hit key Let's move it out to the right and you can have have it go either way I'm gonna have mine go in a surprise look we want our eyelids to be equal so I'm gonna have negative 30 that's a good value on this one and I'll type 30 on this one because it's mirrored hit key move the controller over to the left and now we're gonna do an angry type rotation Rotate it inward. 30 again seems like a good value for this. This one will be negative 30 because it's rotating the other way and hit key. Now, when you move the controller side to side, she's neutral here. She looks surprised or worried and then she can get angry. And you could also add in up and down. So the up and down still works. So it could be up and angry or down and angry, which would be more common or up and out and surprised. So you can use these four directions, up, down, left, right, to control the eyebrows. So, and you can combine it with the eyelid, so you can make her look surprised, something like that, or you can make her look more angry, like she's glaring at somebody, like that. And if you wanted to go back to the neutral spot, just select the controllers, and type 0 in for X and Y.